If you're applying to medical or dental school this year, I'm going to talk about my key predictions for what I think is going to happen and it's going to make the difference for whether your application is successful or unsuccessful. But before we dive in, I really want to take a moment to encourage you to use 2024 to think big. I've seen it. I've been really inspired by students on our program this year who have come to us after one student was explaining how they were on a cycle of just submitting week application after week application. And then finally, they took a step back and looked at actually what am I doing properly and really submit an application where you are putting the effort in believing that it's going to happen. There's a big difference between kind of just going through the motions and really, really going for it. And I really believe in the magic of thinking big. I wouldn't have achieved what I've done with, you know, getting into medicine and dentistry and, you know, setting up future doc, all of those things on paper. I wasn't particularly great at school. I wasn't particularly great. Uh, at the start of medical school it's all about really just having that drive and determination and just to keep going until you get what you want the analogy i really like is that of the baby learning to walk how many attempts would you expect a baby uh, to have until it learns to walk and then they always say how many attempts would you let a baby have until you cut it off and say okay no more trying which is a ridiculous question obviously you would let the baby try and try and try it until it gets in and that is kind of a good analogy for the determination and the effort that's required to get into medical school. I say that almost anybody could do it. Really, honestly, it's all about playing the game. Same with dental school. Just as long as you do the right things, look at it in the right way, and really just put all of your effort into the right areas of the application, you really can complete that game and get where you want to be. And that may sound like hyperbole or blind optimism, whatever you want to call it. But the reason I have this faith is because I've seen it so many times in my students. And really, honestly, if you believe and you put the effort in and work on the right things, I know that you can do it in this year or maybe the next year. But as long as you just keep going and keep approaching it in the right way. Right. So enough of my self-motivation talk. Now let's talk about how I expect it to change this year. Remember, they took the cap off places during COVID, which has now been reinstated. So the number of places has gone back down. Yes, we're talking about medical apprenticeships and other routes of entry, but at the moment, the pure medicine course is still getting more applicants and now with fewer places. So really, really important to be aware of how competitive it is and how good you need to be to stand out. With be that out of the window, we still don't know at this stage exactly what's gonna happen. I have two predictions. First, that the Oxbridge universities are probably being the type that they are going to set their own exam that they come up with. However, I think the other BMAT universities will probably simply switch to UCAT the same way that Leeds did. Now, with that switch, that means that even more people are going to be relying on the UCAT, so more people are going to be sitting it, and also more people are going to be needing to get a good score, which means that the threshold has been increasing steadily over the last few years and the average scores as well with that, and I think it's going to continue on that trend. So you need to make sure that you are putting the right kind of work. UCAT is about working intelligently. And if you check out this revision plan here, you can see exactly how I would recommend you approach it to give yourself the best chance of scoring highly. One thing that I also think might happen will be the number of reapplicants going up. So people who have had a previous attempt, didn't get in and then they've applied again. Typically, it's around 20% of people who are applying in any given year are not applying for the first time. So quite a big proportion. And again, a lot of the time I see with students who have come to us after failed attempts, it's really they're going about it the wrong way. So I think that in 2024, probably the most important thing will be the quality of help that people get. Realistically, everybody is getting help nowadays in some capacity, whether it's a teacher at school, maybe they have a family member that's a doctor, even though I have lots of colleague consultants who come to me for help with their kids because it is completely different today how it was back then. But still, you know, they have somebody medical in their life. However, I think that the quality of help is so important and getting the right kind of guidance. There is so much dross out there and even some of the other companies out there, I we get students from them who've had terrible advice and not got in because of that. So it's really important to get the right sort of support. That also includes support from your parents. If you are an undergraduate applicant, so you're kind of in your A-levels or applying as an international, or also if you're a young grad, you will probably want the support of your parents. And that is why we made a completely free course that you can check out here that is essentially a guide for how to guide your children to get into medical and dental school. So it will tell them exactly how they can support you and help you maximize your chances. And like I say, that is completely free. There's absolutely no catch. We don't ask for anything in return. 
Also, if you want more free resources, you go to the Future.Doc website and you can check out the free resources page where we have lots of great little tools that are going to help you with your medical and dental school application. The final thing that I predict in 2024 is changes to the personal statement. Now, they were proposing to change the way that it's done from a long form 4,000 character piece of writing to breaking it down into questions. Now, essentially, all that does is provide the structure that you should be doing for your personal statement, which I talk about in this playlist here. But it's just essentially making the structure for you so that you stay on track with the questions. I see some terrible personal statements that come to us where people have completely missed the mark, completely misunderstood what they need to communicate. So I can see how people who don't, again, get the right guidance, go meandering off course and give personal statement that really isn't what they're looking for. So the new structure is proposed to kind of keep those people on track and make it fairer in that sense. Now, I've seen a big backlash to this proposal. So it's going to go one of two ways. They're going to stick with it or they're going to actually rescind that proposal to do that and just go back to the personal statement as it was. But again, ever more, this is such an important way to distinguish yourself. Some universities, it's true, don't use the personal statement at all. However, the ones that do, it will have a massive significance in kind of whether they choose to be invited to interview, but also guide how the interview goes based on what you've written and what they'll quiz you on from what you've put in your personal statement. So like I say, this year is going to be difficult, but by preparing right, you can really help yourself stand out. I really want you to think big and make this year the year that you go for it. If you want our support with it, you can check out this video here, but I just really encourage you to make this year the year that you fully go for it, really put everything into it. And you can, if you do persist and keep going and approach it in the right way, you can do it. So best of luck with the application this year, and I hope you have a fantastic 2024.